Hi, welcome to week five. I hope you enjoyed last week, uh, Soft Systems, and your discussions of Tragedy of the Commons. I apologize for not being amongst you last week. I was uh, marking your individual assignments. I'm just about done, and I'll have them uploaded by midnight tonight. This is Sunday night. I'm recording this. If you've been confused about other podcasts, the linkages are still weird. I thought I had removed the linkage, but someone wrote and said that asked me about the podcast, so apparently you still have access to it. I'm not sure how, and I'm going to try to track that down. This is the official 2011-2012 Week 5 uh, video podcast. There, this will be short. It's just kind of to say hi and um, connect. There's a longer audio podcast, and the reason I'm doing two is because there's a fair amount of information I want to cover this week, and it's too long to do in a video. The file would be too large to upload, and so that's why I'm doing it in, in two segments. So watch this one first, and then dive into the audio. Um, this will be our last week until Christmas vacation, and so I hope you enjoy your vacation. Remember to check out week six over Christmas if you can possibly do it. There is a lot of fascinating reading. Not not so heavy duty as, as this week and, and some of the other stuff, but just fascinating readings by a variety of different authors. And the instructions are to read, everyone reads some of them. But there's a whole lot of optional, or not optional as such, but auxiliary readings that you pick a couple from to read. And so... If I were you and you have time over Christmas, I'd try to dig in and read a bunch of them because there's just really fascinating stuff. And the reason I put so many is I can't decide which among them different ones of you will probably be attracted to different of the readings. So I've just left a lot of options there for you to choose from. Uh, we've already looked at Mondorana's structural determinism last week or two weeks ago, I guess now. Or three weeks ago. Hell, I don't even remember. Anyway, we've looked at Maturana, and, and that's twisted our mind. And this week, we get back into Maturana, diving a little deeper, and looking at his notion of the multiverse, at objectivity in parentheses. As I say in the audio podcast, this stuff has been boggling my mind on and off for many years. Some of you that have had some philosophy background, especially that have explored postmodernism, you might feel real comfortable in this material. The scientists among us that we've been um, enculturated to sort of accept as given that there's a single objective universe that science is learning about. And so for those of us that are fundamentally grounded in science, this, this can be pretty, pretty mind-boggling stuff that we're looking at this week. So just hang on with it, give it a chance, um, and, and see, where we go, see where it goes with you, see you know, what you think uh, at it. Um, I encourage you to really read the copper reading um, before you dive into the Maturana stuff, especially, and I believe I say this in the audio uh, podcast, I think page 271, 272, um, um, Capra is a good interpreter of Maturana, and, and he will ground you, his ideas will ground you, and Maturana and Perkson are talking about. So, And then um, in week six, as I said, we look at a variety of different um, ways of dancing with systems, and um, the Meadows readings for, for that are wonderful. And then after that, week seven, we dive down into deep water again with Ken Wilber's integral model, and so that might fry some brains as well. So that's something to look forward to. Let's see, what else did I want to talk about here? That's um, basically what I wanted to say, uh, to wish you a great week this week. And if uh, I don't chat with you again before Christmas, I hope you have a, a wonderful Christmas vacation wherever you go and with ever who you're with. And I'm going to California. I'll be leaving Sunday um, morning for driving down to Seattle and flying to California. Um, and so I, I'll, I'll try to check my email Sunday night, but I'm not going to be very available s Sunday. So if you have any burning questions, you should probably ask me before Sunday. Um, seems like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, we'll do office hours again this week on the schedule. I, I 
can't remember if it's Wednesday or Thursday, but we'll do office hours this week. So that's it. So enjoy, enjoy your discussions, and I'll see you in the forums. Take care.